Hello, welcome everybody, power hour. It is time, let's start in mountain pose. It's casual Friday, so we're wearing jeans today. <laughs> we'll just take a few moments as we continue to prepare for our practice. You might do that by taking a few deep breaths, nice full inhale, and a complete exhale. Good, another nice full breath in, and release. Excuse me. <coughs> and just continue with slow, steady breaths. Just intentional breathing. Mindful of each inhale and each exhale. And as you're breathing in and out, just notice how your body is responding to your breath. That might simply be the rise and fall of your chest or belly, even your shoulders. And listen to the sound of your breath. So if it's a little soft or quiet, just turn it up just a bit so you can hear your breathing. <clears throat> These are just ways to draw ourselves inward, to fully connect. It also allows us to be in stillness for a moment, perhaps to set a personal intention for your practice. We'll be focusing on core today, so our center, our center body for strength and stability, movement, So if that resonates with you and what you're needing today, just bring that into your practice. And then one last sensation before we move. As you inhale next, feel the breath rising to fill your lungs. In the exhale, draw your belly button in towards your spine, just that light pull. Contracting the abdominal muscles what we call the abdominal lock. That's gonna certainly help us with our core work today. So again, a breath in, feeling the breath rise, lengthening through the spine, fill your lungs, and the exhale, that light contraction of the abdominal muscles, that pulling in sensation towards your center. Let's take three more breaths here, preparing our bodies to move. And when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. You can take your time with this. Just treat it like a nice stretch, reach all the way up, and exhale, fold forward, so a good hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to as you guide your way down toward your toes. You don't have to touch your toes, though. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins or knees to extend your spine, long, flat back. On the exhale, either stay here or fold back down toward your toes. That could be a partial fold where you don't go all the way down. Or if you decide to go all the way down, just carefully, slowly, like just melting uh, until you feel that complete release at the end. Just allow that heaviness to take over, gravity drawing you downward. Just notice what this feels like and how it shows up in your body, perhaps down through your curved back lengthened legs, even add movement if it feels good. A little sway of the upper body, left and right, some movement of your arms and shoulders, even your head. If your head feels locked in place, maybe just loosen it up, shake it out, or just nod yes, shake your head no. And then let's get ready to stand back up first. Shift your weight back into your heels, bend your knees to lower your hips like you're sitting into a low chair. Start to rise up and spread your wings, arms out to the side. As you inhale, reach up, 
And exhale, either bring your palms together and down to your heart or arms down to your side, either one. We'll just pause for a moment. And we'll just repeat our sun salute or half a sun salute. Here we go. Inhale, reaching into the air, that nice lengthening through the sides of your body. Exhale, fold forward. Again, another good hinge of the hips. Bend your knees, make your way down towards your toes. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, your knees extending through your spine. Again, you can just pause here or slowly go all the way down or just partially down. Pause for a moment. And then our same weight shift into the heels, bend your knees to lower hips, lifting upper body, spread your wings as you inhale, reaching out, then up, and exhale, arms down to your side or hands to heart center. Again, either one is correct. Another pause here, reconnect to your breathing. And we'll continue to add on to our flow. Remember to move at your own pace, take your time if you need to, and rest when you need to. Here we go, inhale, reaching into the air, getting longer and taller. Exhale, leading with heart, fold forward, guiding your way down carefully. Inhale, rise up halfway, and exhale, we'll fold. Bend your knees enough so you can place your hands out in front of you on your mat, and just take a few steps back, perhaps to the back end of your mat, and just draw a straight line in the body, plank pose. Maybe your hips lower to about shoulder level, Let's pause here for a moment. This is another good core strengthening position as well as upper body. Take a breath in and exhale. Bend your knees a little and send your hips up into the air, moving into downward facing dog, a little shortcut to down dog from plank pose. If you need to, make some adjustments with your feet, maybe even your hands on your mat to help you settle into the pose. Perfectly fine to keep the knees bent while the hips lift up a little higher into the sky, hands root into the earth as you create your down dog. Yes, modify if you need to. Yes, coming to hands and knees. If you want to flow, even just moving hip side to side or cat cow. In down dog, pedaling the feet, bending the knees. A little movement of the hips. Good. Just feeling your body, noticing how it feels today. Okay, let's continue breathing in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop both feet up to the top of the mat to your forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, stay here or refold. Same weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive, coming all the way up. Reach high, keep it moving. This exhale, take chair pose. Just sitting back and down into a chair. Doesn't have to go down too low or deep unless you'd like to. Maybe that's slow sinking into the seat if you'd like outstretched arms. As you're reaching out front, you might feel the hips move back, so you find that balance. Let's breathe in. Then exhale, dive out of your seat, back down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rising halfway up, long flat back. Yes, exhale, fold, bend your knees, hands to the earth, hop or step the feet back into plank pose. Another pause here, just being aware of your hips. They're not too low, and they're certainly not they're not up too high, but maybe at shoulder level if you can get that sense. Take a breath in, stay in this posture. With your exhale, fill belly button, in, in this case, pull up towards spine. So you just continue to feel that core engagement. Another breath in, exhale, bend knees, hips to sky, downward facing dog. So just taking another shortcut to down dog. We'll continue from here. Inhale, picking up right foot, extend the right leg back behind you. And then right foot to the top of the mat, behind the right hand, turn left heel to the floor. Be sure to shift your weight back into that foot so there's balance between the feet. So you have light hands, so you can rise up to warrior one. Just pause for a moment, that nice reaching sensation and lunging down below. And we'll breathe in and exhale, hinge, fold, make your way back down to the floor and just slide your right foot back to meet the other plank pose. Same core connection when you exhale, feeling the strength in your body. Another breath in, exhale, bend knees, hips to sky. Another shortcut to downward facing dog, adjusting the feet and the hands if you need to. 
When you're ready, let's pick up left foot and extend the left leg back as you inhale, nice strong straight line. Exhale, left foot to the top of the mat or just behind the left hand. Right heel turns to the floor. Take the time to find the balance. Light hands, so you can rise up, hinging from hips. And we'll just hold here for a moment, continuing that nice reaching sensation up high and our lunge down below. We'll inhale and exhale. Yes, hinge, fold, hands back down to the earth. Pull or slide the left foot back, plank pose. You can still take that shortcut to down dog or your first vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana, Chatur coming down, bending the elbows to lower your body down. Upward facing dog or even a low cobra. Then exhale, downward facing dog. You can move through hands and knees, even child's pose in order to Make your way to downward facing. Just a breath or two in down dog. We'll do some work on the floor. So gently come down to your knees. Sit back briefly in hero, then off to the side so you can swing the legs around to the front here. Scoot forward so you're sitting in the center of your mat so you have room behind you. Go ahead and roll down onto your back. If it feels okay, go ahead and draw your knees into your body. A little movement here. And also a nice reconnection to your breath. So notice your breathing here. So we're going to move into bridge pose, which is a back bend or heart opener. So go ahead and set your feet onto the floor. Inhale to fill up the lungs. Exhale through the mouth so you can feel the air leave your belly. And then lift the hips off the floor. Now, if you happen to have a block or a other prop, maybe slide that block underneath you to sit on. Just for a more supported back bend if you need it today. Or just continue lifting the hips by pressing feet into the earth, even get, getting your arms and shoulders a little bit underneath you to support the upper body. You might even bend your arms so they're at 90 degrees to press your elbows and triceps and shoulders down into the floor to help lift the upper body. So a nice expansion there. We'll be coming back to this pose a little bit later in the practice, but we'll have a little bit more focus on the core. But here, I just want you to feel this nice opening through the whole front side of your body. Take one more breath in, and then exhale, soften the body. You might wiggle the feet forward a little bit, extend your arms straight up into the air, just making space underneath you so you can roll your way down to the ground. And then once you're down, extend your arms behind you, extend your legs out in front of you, and just actively reach and stretch in these opposite directions. And then go ahead and draw both knees into chest. <clears throat> From here, you can rock your way up to seated or roll to your side and press yourself up to seated. We're gonna come to boat pose. We're gonna be here for a bit, and this is how we like to do boat today. So I'm gonna have you bend your knees with your heels on the floor, feet flex. So active feet, heels on the floor. And just using your legs as handlebars, so just hold on to the bend of the knees and literally lift yourself up. Even feel as if you were up against a wall. Okay, so a nice long spine up against a wall. Okay, you wanna have that good length. And the inhale certainly helps us to create that length, like it was a string attached to the top of the head. And we exhale, and again, you can breathe out through the mouth and feel that core connection. Now, this really could be the end of the pose. This could be your boat pose, which you might find, well, this is kind of easy. I can hold here for a while, and, and that's, the, that's the intention. But if you want to add a little bit more tension, maybe next exhale, just start to lean back a little bit, not much. Just so you start to feel a light tension. It's like, okay, I feel that. I can feel the activation here right across the abs, still can hold on, but able to hold. If you need or want more, you can lean back more as you start to fatigue, because we do fatigue pretty quickly in the abs, just lift yourself back up, okay? So you can start to feel the 
the decrease in that tension. All righty. And whenever we come to boat pose in any class, feel free to do this style if you'd like. You don't always have to have the feet lifted and the hands free, okay? Let's move from here, breathing in. When the exhale start to soften, we're gonna get back to plank pose. So I like to swing the legs around back, hands front, toes behind, there's plank pose. So just draw that straight line in the body. Belly button still pulling up towards spine. Feel free to complete the vinyasa. You might bring knees to the floor first, then chest as you complete the push-up. Up dog or cobra for your back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, step, or jump. Both feet up to the top of the mat. We'll be in forward fold. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. Exhale, refold. Weight shift into the heels. Bend the knees, inhale, reverse swan dive. Come all the way up, reach high. And exhale, arms down to your side, good. Just kind of shake things loose. Alrighty. Part of our core work is not only gonna be the front body, it's also gonna be back body. So we already did a back bend, okay? So we'll bridge pose, and we will be doing that again. But also the side bodies, okay? So we're just gonna do a little side bend here. Let me turn this way for a moment. So just meet me here in mountain pose. And together, let's inhale, reach all the way up. In the exhale, if you can, just interlace the fingers with the index fingers pointing up. Elbows are fine to be bent, but if you're able, another extension of the arm, just reaching up. If that's tension on the shoulders, just bend in the elbows, that's fine. We'll inhale, reach or point. Exhale, a little tip to your right. Just a little bit right there. And just like we did with the boat pose, just kind of going gradually. So inhale, reach or point and exhale a little bend slightly. So you can start to feel that pull or stretch through the left side, okay? Even feel as if you can breathe into that side of your body, like you're trying to expand it more. If this becomes too much, lighten it up by coming up. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna inhale, come back up nice and tall. Exhale, release the hands, arms down, so you can relax the shoulders and shake them out. Okay. So we're just getting that side bend, a little stretch and lengthening through the sides of the body in reed pose. Okay. Other side, inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, interlace fingers, index fingers pointing up. Reach up or point up, inhale, and exhale, let's tip to the left. Just a little bit to begin so that your body kind of gets used to what's going on and what sensations arise in you. If this feels fine, stay here or inhale, keep pointing and reaching. Exhale, maybe going a tiny bit more. Not forcing it, not pushing it, just enough where you, okay, that's enough, I can feel this, feels good, I can hold here, I'm not straining. Yeah. Just give me that nice light pull. Here we go, inhale, let's come all the way back up. Exhale, we release, let all that go, shake it out. We'll just continue with our flow, keep adding on. When you're ready, inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Slide the hands up to the shins or knees if you'd like. Exhale, fold, bend your knees enough. Hands on the mat, hop or step or walk the feet back. Plank pose, stay here. Move into down dog or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, up dog or a variation of this back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stepping into place to fully arrive in the posture. Then inhale, let's pick up right foot, extend right leg back. Let's open this. Let's bend the knee that's in the air. Heel comes down towards backside. A slight lift of the knee up, which kind of creates a mild twist in the spine. Notice if the torso seems to be turning a little bit. That's what we want in addition to the hip opener. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind and step through. Return to a warrior one setup. Left heel to the earth behind you balanced, light hands rise up, and exhale, opening to your left for warrior two. Yeah, adjust your feet, good balance, nice strong foundation, outstretched arms, yes, energy in the arms, perfect. And then side angle, follow the right hand forward, a little bit is fine, rotate the arms, reach down, reach up. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you can start up high and just gradually kind of melt into the pose, getting lowered, closer to the floor if you'd like. But always that 
ability and availability to rise back up if you need to. Let's keep that side stretch by sending left hand overhead, reaching towards the front of the room, just like that reed pose. Even if you need to bend the elbow, that's fine. Feel the side stretch. Breathing in, ready to move. Exhale, we'll turn, fold, hands to the mat. Right foot pulls back, plank pose. Finishing your vinyasa any way you'd like. You can always skip this and go right into down dog or a variation. Once in down dog, adjust the feet and hands. And then the other side, inhale, extend left leg up, straight line. Then we'll bend that left knee in the air. Heel comes down towards backside. A little lift of the knee. Notice, if you can, that twist in the spine, a little opening up towards the left side of the room. Breathe in, good job. Exhale, unwind, step through, left foot to the top of the mat, right heel to the earth behind you, strong foundations. As we then rise up first, warrior, opening to the right side of the room, warrior two, adjusting the feet, strong foundation, side angle pose, reach out, rotate here, staying up high if you need to, which means your left arm or even your left hand could be on your thigh. Or if your left arm is straight, maybe just braced against the inner leg, and fingertips might be close to the floor, but they may not be close to the floor. Right arm reaching overhead, fingertips reaching towards this front wall, lengthening through the side of the body, like that reed pose. Breathe into it. Very nice, here we go, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, strong straight line, complete your series, modify it as you need to. Knee and down dog, take a breath or two there. And then come down to hero pose. Stay in hero or just take a regular seat if this doesn't feel good to you, okay? I wanna quickly demo the next little thing. I wanna show you first and then I'll give the instruction as you do it. So we're gonna, we are gonna lie back down. You might hug the knees in for a bit and then we'll set the feet down. Before we go into bridge pose, lifting the hips, we're gonna do a little rocking of the pelvis here to work the abs. So if you just kinda of lie comfortably for a moment, we'll get set up. Well, I'll have you inhale and arch the back, which I call little bridge, because it's the low back is lifting up off the floor and the pelvis is tipping one way. And the, and the exhale, I'm tipping it the other way so I can press the low back into the floor. So it becomes the rocking of the pelvis, this like that. You can feel the arched back and more of a flat back, even trying to hollow out the belly. What we're really doing is taking cat cow and just flipping it on our backs. So it's just this sensation. Being mindful of the exhale, pulling belly button, in this case, up towards spine on our backs, it's kind of down towards the spine. So let's try that. Go ahead and take a seat. <clears throat> Lie down, draw knees in initially, a little movement there if it feels correct for you, and then plant the feet into the ground. And just as they're planting, just relax for a moment, just settle into the ground. And then just be mindful of the pelvis, that rocking sensation to do this core work. First, you'll inhale, tipping the pelvis forward so you create an arched back. The low back lifts up off the floor. Your bottom is still on the ground. Exhale, pelvis tips towards self as the low back presses into the ground, belly towards spine. And just keep rocking like that. Inhale, arch. Exhale, press. Pay attention to the exhale. <sighs> Breathing out through the mouth, perhaps that hollowed feeling in the belly, belly button drawing down towards spine as the low back presses into the earth. With that movement, you're engaging, you're flexing muscles, and you're flexing the transverse abdominus muscles, which are kind of low and deep that run across the body, like a, like a tight belt, for example, that supports you. Okay, you can do that again. Inhale, arch. <coughs> Exhale, press. We're gonna do it one more time. Inhale, arch. Exhale, press, and just keep pressing the low back into the floor. Keep breathing, but just keep this posture, if that makes sense. Okay, you're still breathing in and out. 
but you still have that hollowed feeling in the belly, low back is connecting to the ground. So you're just holding flexed muscles. Now, next exhale, press feet into the floor, lift hips up off the floor so you'll be in your bridge. So again, you can just lift all the way up as you'd like or modify it by using your hands to hold yourself up or slide a block or another prop underneath you. So nice breathing sensations as you reopen the front body. Okay, it's a back bend, so we're also being mindful of the back body, part of our core system. Two more breaths. And after that second breath, start to soften, wiggle the toes forward, extend your arms into the air, and then just melt your way down into the ground. Yeah, extend again, extend the arms behind you, legs out front, nice active stretch. And we're gonna go back to that modified boat pose. Whenever you're ready, no rush, draw knees to chest. You can rock your way up or roll to the side and press yourself up. Same thing, let's bend the knees, heels on the floor, flexed feet, hold on, lift up. Okay, being drawn up, that's our in breath. Exhale through the mouth, feel the engagement, and then just start your leaning back. Okay. Yeah, even if you're with heels on the floor and having not leaned back too far, maybe free the hands. That just adds just a little bit more of that uh, tension in the belly here. But you can always go back to holding on. And lift yourself up if you feel the fatigue. Yeah, and then just come right back into it just so you have that ability to kind of stay in the pose a little bit longer, really strengthening, really adding endurance strength, building endurance strength. Yes, love this, okay? So this is working the abdominal system here, rectus abdominis muscles, which is kind of the outer layer, the superficial layer of the abs, okay? We're gonna breathe in, here we go. Then exhale, coming out of the posture, maybe crossing legs, hands in front or to the side. Let's get the feet back behind us. Plank pose, hold. Let's get into the obliques a little bit by getting sideways. So set the right knee onto the floor, directly underneath your hip. Swing the right foot off to the side as we create a little kickstand and balance. Open up towards the left side of the room, left hand in the air. And then we're sideways, you've got it, just like that, yeah. Ah, nice expansion, almost like side angle. Think about side angle, how you, how you extend the arms up and down, and then send left arm overhead to get that side body stretch, again, getting into the obliques. Now this is a nice modified version with the knee on the floor. Next time through, we'll try this with out the knee on the floor to really work the obliques, side body. Okay. Inhale here, exhale, let's return to the earth. Left hand, left knee can come to the floor, bring that kickstand in. And then since we're here, cat and cow. So this is what we just did on our, on our backs. Now just doing it on hands and knees, that same sensation. Inhale to create the back bend, that's cow. <laughs> exhale, cat, belly button pulling up towards spine. Notice that core engagement. Finish this last one. Come to a neutral tabletop posture so we can do the other side. So we'll just swing the left foot off to the side as our kickstand and balance. Extend the right leg back behind us. You can keep toes on the floor also for balance and just open up to the right side. And just feel that nice extension. You're opening up through the heart, your hips. Let's send right arm overhead, reach through the fingertips. Even if you need to bend the elbow, perfectly fine. Again, our modified version, you can always use this version. It's a wonderful version of Vashistasana or side plank. We're just adding that nice side body stretch. Breathe in, exhale carefully, return to the earth, right hand, right knee, bring the kickstand back in. Another set of cat cow, two or three, whatever feels good here. We're gonna make our way back into downward facing dog. So you might finish the last breath, pause in stillness, and then just make your way to down dog. 
from down dog. We're just going to make our way back up to standing. So take a breath in. Exhale, walk, step or hop both feet back up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, refold if it feels good. Weight shift into the heels, bend the knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Get tall, reach up, even pause here so you can get that little extra stretch and lengthening through the body. Yes, and exhale, arms down to your side. And just shake all that loose. Yeah, okay. So side plank, we did the modified version with the knee on the floor, starts to get into the side body. Later, we're gonna do full vashistasana, legs straight, okay? really works the strength of the side bodies. But you always are welcome to do the modified version. So let's do more oblique work. Let's grab a block because we're going to twist. So take your block, place it between your thighs, just above the knees, hugging to midline, just squeezing the block. We're nice and tall. And, <clears throat> and just, as you, you already know this, but just as a reminder, when we get into the pose, just watch. As we get into our chair pose, we're going to twist. We want to make sure we're just twisting the upper body and not swinging our hips. Okay, so when we uh, twist to the le my, my left, we're not swinging the hip out to the right. Okay, we want to feel like you're glued to that chair. Squeeze the block. Okay, here we go. Inhale, reaching both arms up. Exhale, take your chair pose. It doesn't have to be a deep seat. Hands to heart. If you want to sit back and down a little deeper, perfectly welcome to, but not necessary. Yeah, make sure you have a good hold of your block, adjust it if you need to. Inhale as if you're getting out of the chair, you're just lengthening through spine. Exhale, pull belly in, squeeze your block, and here's your rotation to your right. Okay, paying attention to that mild rotation of the upper body a little bit. Go in increments. Go a little bit, pause, check in. How do you feel? What's happening in the hips, your back? If you're able, next exhale, if, if you can and want to, maybe rotate a tiny bit more. Yes, good. Little added pieces like extending the arms or sitting back and down deeper. Yeah, there you go. Just adding a little bit more as you'd like <clears throat> to the pose. Again, stabilizing, strengthening. Breathe in, yes. Exhale, unwind, hands on thighs. Pause here for a moment. Everything's kind of coming back to neutral. Stand up all the way reaching into the air, nice stretch. We're going right away to the other side. So exhale, chair pose, sit, hands to heart. Okay, feel rooted, grounded, connected. Everything's hugging in. Here we go, inhale, lengthening through spine. Exhale, twist to your left, same thing. Either stay up high or gradually go down lower. In increments, you might rotate a bit more, or if you feel like, oop, that was too far, unwind. Make sure you still feel glued to your seat. Okay, your hips haven't moved too much. They might move a little. Okay, we're making sure they haven't really swung out to the side. Yeah. Love those arm extensions. <clears throat> In this case, your right arm might be on the outside of your left leg, or it could even be between the knees. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind, hands on thighs. As your body comes back to neutral, go ahead and grab your block, release the block from between the knees, and slide down to a forward fold and just place your block on the floor. We'll continue from here. Inhale, monkey pose. Re-extend your flat back. Yeah. Exhale, fold, hands to the mat. Hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you want to. Chaturanga Dandasana. Yeah. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Good. That's building strength too when you go in slow motion like that. Finishing in downward facing dog. Here we go, inhale, extend right leg out, reach, bend and twist open. We'll unwind and step through, right foot to the top of the mat, back to our warrior one setup, left heel to the floor, root and connect, find center, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Quick adjustment of the feet, our foundation, side angle, reach out, rotate here. Go ahead and continue following the left hand overhead. Yeah, side body stretch, inhale, yes. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, back to plank pose. Let's keep the right foot lifted, just a few inches off the floor. We're just gonna add a little bit more of a dynamic to the pose. So the foot's off the floor, not high, but reaching to the back wall. As you're able, bend that right knee, bring it in towards right elbow. It doesn't have to touch the elbow, it just bring it in. It's like a little crunch. And then re-extend the leg back behind you, set the toes down, 
and then finish your sequence. That might just be a shortcut to down dog or variation. And you can certainly go through the flow. Yeah, so we're just adding that little extra piece of the lifted foot. Whenever you're ready in down dog, no rush, take your time. Inhale, extend left leg up, bend and twist open. There's our rotated spine. Unwind, step through, left foot to the top of the mat. Take your time to get there, right heel roots into the earth. Find your center, rise up, there it is, first warrior. Exhale, opening warrior two. Side angle when you're ready, reach out, rotate, follow right hand overhead towards the front wall. Breathing in for that nice extension. We're still moving, exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor, back to plank pose, left foot lifted. Okay, My toe is just like an inch off the floor, so it doesn't have to lift high at all. We're breathing in. The exhale is the bend of the knee towards left elbow, and then extend it straight back. Set the toes on the floor, finish your sequence. Don't forget, you can just take the shortcut to down dog. Very nice. Holding in down dog, that's it. Breathing in. Exhale, bend knees, walk, step or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat, stay on your feet. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive, reaching up. And exhale, arms down to your side. Okay. You can kind of shake things loose. Core also helps us with balance, so we're going to be doing tree pose, of course. So mountain pose, balanced on two feet, softening the knees, little weight shift into the right foot, press, inhale, get tall, so we're sending breath to lungs up top, exhale, pull belly in, that's that core connection we want. Yeah, and then we can pick up the left foot, flexing the foot, strong leg, just like the boat pose. Swing the knee out until it just naturally stops, doesn't have to go far. Placing foot, if you can, maybe to inner thigh, doesn't have to go this high, maybe calf, or even use the floor with your toes. Once in place, inhale, extend arms up, nice extension, reach. Focusing forward or even drop the eyes downward and focus on something on the floor out in front of you that might help with balance. Remembering this nice extension, reaching as you inhale, get longer. The exhale, we're still engaging the abdominal lock, helping with balance. Let's keep arms as they are, swing the left knee forward, lift the knee flexed foot, plant the foot into the ground, balance on two feet, arms can come back down, shake it loose. Yeah, even the feet there too, yeah. Good. Okay, back to our mountain pose, ready for tree on the other side, yeah. Soft knees, weight shift into the left foot, strong thigh there, inhale, get tall, exhale, engage. There, lifting right foot, flex foot, thighs parallel to the floor, we swing it open, plug it in high, medium or low. And then the arms can go up, yeah. That lifting, reaching sensation focuses forward or just drop the eyes, maybe focusing on a floorboard or a speck on the ground. Breathing. There, even if we're wobbling, even if we step out of the pose, no worries, yeah. Okay, let's keep the arms extended. We'll swing right knee forward, lifting knee flexed foot, plant the foot into the ground, rebalance, arms return to your side. I'm just gonna shake all that loose as well. As we flow this next time, why don't we add that side bend? So just watch me for a second. So I'm gonna go up with the arms, side bend, come out, chair. We might even twist it. We might even, go ahead, let's go ahead and twist the chair too, and then go to that side. Okay, so we're gonna start with the side bend on the right side. Inhale, reaching out and up, interlace fingers. Inhale, keep reaching up. Exhale, bend slowly to the right until you just naturally stop or just Feels right, you feel the left side body stretch. Not too long here, it's gonna come back up with the inhale, release fingers, exhale, chair pose. And once you finish the seat, bring hands to heart. Inhale, more extension through spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Maybe imagine you've got the block between the knees. 
So you can squeeze to center line so that your knees and hips stay in place as you rotate upper body. Again, we're not gonna be here long. Breathe in, nice job. Exhale, unwind, hands on thighs. Then slowly slide down. Continuing the flow. Monkey, that's our inhale to extend spine. Exhale, fold, hands to the floor. Hop or step back, plank pose. Come down if you'd like, Chaturanga Dandasana. Modify these as needed. Inhale, up dog, love that. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here we go, inhale, extend right leg up. Bend and twist open, this is all the same. Unwind, step through, right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel to the earth. Rising up, first warrior. Exhale, opening warrior two. Adjust the feet right away, side angle, reach up. Tip it over, rotate arms, left arm overhead. Okay, like our reed pose. Here we go, breathe in. Exhale, turn, fold, hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose, right foot lifted. Just reach as you inhale through the toes. Exhale, knee to elbow. <sighs> inhale, re-extend. Exhale, set the toes down. Now we're going side plank again. So you're welcome to bring right knee to the floor or if you're able, keep legs straight, open up sideways. So the legs will be stacked or feel free to step one foot in front of the other. That'll help with balance. You do want to feel this left hand reaching up into the air. In addition, left hip is lifting into the air. You're really working your right side, the underside, closest to the floor. That's the oblique section that's getting worked. Yes, breathe in. Exhale, return to plank pose. Take your time. Yes. Go ahead and just take a shortcut to down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop. Both feet return to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through spine. Exhale, refold. Weight shift into the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse wand dive, coming up. Reach high, exhale, arms down to your side. Ah, go ahead and shake all that loose, yeah. So that's side plank, lots of energy, okay? And just another look, quick little tip, even if, if you do the legs straight, stacked, or staggered, or even something like this, a little pedestal, okay? Because that'll help with this lift, because you want to feel lifted, not sinking. We're not sinking, because we're going to lose this engagement. If we can lift, ah, that's where you're going to feel the engagement on the under underside, okay? Okay, read pose, chair pose, twist. Inhale, reach up, interlace, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tip to the left, slow stretched for the right side. Inhale, come back up, release the fingers. Exhale, chair pose. Once you finish the seat, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, pull belly in, squeeze the imaginary block, twist to your left. There's our nice rotation, getting in those obliques. Breathe in. Exhale, unwind, maybe hands on thighs. That's just giving an opportunity for the body to come back to alignment and just slide down to your forward fold. Inhale to re-extend spine. And exhale, fold, hands to the ground out in front. Hop or step back, plank pose. Move through the sequence that is best for you at this moment to get you to down dog. You can always switch these up, love it. Excellent, when you're ready, inhale, extending left leg into the air, bend and twist. Unwind, step through, left foot to the top of the mat, warrior one set up, right heel to the earth. Rising when you're ready, you can always take your time with that, no rush. Warrior two. Yeah, side angle, love it. So fluid in your movements. Right hand reaching overhead. Nice extension, side body stretch. Inhale, exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Back to plank pose with left foot lifted. So you kind of settle in, just feel the body get longer and stronger. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, a little crunch. Re-extend the leg back behind you, set the toes down, left side plank. You can set the left knee onto the floor or just swing open sideways, stack the legs, but maybe stagger the feet if you want. There you go, mm-hmm. Maybe right hip lifting. So if you need to, you can place that right foot in front of you on the floor, push, and help hip, get that right hip to lift. There you go, so strong. Breathe in, exhale, return carefully to plank. Down dog, shortcut to get there. 
Okay. And then maybe child's pose, bring the knees to the floor as needed. Maybe take the knees a slightly wider so you have space to sit back. Yeah, into your child's pose, wonderful. Ah, breathing, returning to the sensation of breath. Be mindful if you feel a little bit out of breath, breath. that's normal, right? Maybe using ujjayi breathing or just deep, slow breaths to kind of come back to that baseline. Okay. Two more breaths. No rush, make your way up to hero. Stay in hero for a second. We are coming back down to our backs. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna do that rock, rocking of the pelvis, little bridge, exhale. We're gonna do that maybe twice. So you can get that rocking sensation, hold, and then lift. Okay, you don't have to lift too high. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, lift, Exhale, come down, but not touch the floor. We kind of get this hollowing effect, but there's still space underneath me. Inhale, lift. Exhale. So just, a, just up and down, that's all it is. Okay, we'll do that a few times. Then we'll come up to our boat pose. We're gonna do the same thing here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean back. So just adding some mobility to the core work. Ready? So let's roll on to our backs. You can certainly draw knees in initially and then plant the feet, relax. Stay flat on the floor. First, we're just activating that rocking of the pelvis. Inhale, arch the back or low, little bridge, I call it. Exhale, press low back into the floor. One more time, same thing, inhale, arch. Exhale, press, exhale through the mouth. Okay, stay here, but keep breathing. Take two more breaths, but keep this sensation of pressing low back into the ground, hollowed belly, belly button towards spine. Now we'll add that movement. Inhale, just lift the hips off the floor. And again, they really don't have to lift too high. Exhale through the mouth and let the hips lower, but not touch the floor. And kind of feel that hollowing effect at the same time. Inhale, lift to the bridge, okay, high bridge, exhale, sink. Two more times on your own, really. Inhale, lift. Might even feel that little glute engagement at the top. Exhale, hollow belly. Finishing it up. Coming all the way down to the earth. Touch the ground, extend the arms and extend the legs. Reach and stretch. Okay. Hug the knees in, rock your way up to seated or roll to seated. Boat, set yourself up, same thing. Okay, once we're here nice and tall, this is our inhale. You can always free the hands if you want. Exhale, lean back until you really feel, oh, there's that, there's the tension because we're just gonna inhale and come right back up, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. You can pull if you need to. Exhale. Add more by releasing if you want. Inhale. Let's keep going. Great way to work your core. Okay, better than sit-ups, really. Inhale. Exhale. If, you, if you're getting tired, maybe not go back too far. One more time, one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Okay, one last inhale just to rise back up. And just exhale here. Ah, soften. Okay. <laughs> Stay where you are. We are going to roll back down onto our backs. Here we're just doing some inversions. Your inversions can day, today could be just like this with legs in the air. Okay. Or a block. Legs in the air, okay. or shoulders stand, modified, okay? All right, so inverted.
poses. So lying on your back, legs up, <clears throat> sitting on a block, legs up, or that modified shoulder stand. <clears throat> nice to add inverted poses in our practice just to get kind of counter movements throughout the body, but this also works core. To be able to extend your legs and hold your legs in the air certainly takes core strength. Not just leg strength. That's, yeah, add movement if you wanna kind of get some mobility in the feet and your ankles and toes. Okay, even knees, I like to do a little bicycle pedaling if you wanna kind of get into your knee joints. There you go, yeah. Legs straight up, even out to the side, even side to side. What would that feel like? <clears throat> like windshield wipers, I don't know. There you go. Notice what that feels like. This Just experiment. See what it, those feelings draw up. Now, if you happen to be in a shoulder stand position, you're certainly welcome to add a uh, plow pose, just an option, okay? Wonderful. So a modified plow might just, be, might just be bringing, bending the knees and bringing knees towards your forehead. Okay, maybe extending the legs a little bit behind you. These don't have to be full postures. Just a few more breaths in this upside down position. We are gonna do one last back bend. That's kind of typical after this little sequence, and that's fish pose. So when you're ready, we are going to roll back down to the ground, legs out front, long legs, pointed toes. Before you point your toes, you might want to get your arms underneath you. You're going to straighten your arms and get them underneath you. You might have to lift the side of your body to get the arms and shoulders underneath. You'll be sitting on your hands, palms down. Then you can extend the legs, point your toes, activate. Push elbows into the floor to help lift your upper body like you're lifting out of a, like you're lying in bed and just rising up. Arch your back, look back. Now your head might be suspended in midair, or if you can, gently rest the top of your head on the floor or even a block or a pillow, lifting the chest up towards ceiling, just that press into the floor with the elbows helps with that. So this is our fish pose. Just another back bend, heart opener. Yeah. Two more breaths. To come out of your fish pose, you want to lift the head up off the floor, tuck your chin in towards your chest then lie back down and then free your arms. You might just rest for a few seconds in uh, Shavasana or even bring knees into your body. And from here, we'll do a twist. So you might draw knees into chest. We'll take a spinal twist. So we'll send the knees first over to the left side of the room as you extend your right arm to the right side. And of course, there's several ways you can do your rotations, whatever feels best for your back, your hips, your shoulders even. Good. Good. A few more breaths on this first side, but certainly stay longer if this feels good and you need this position today. When you are ready to move, just carefully and slowly return to center. You might pause in center for that realignment, and then carefully rotate to the other side. Perhaps two more breaths, or more breaths if you need more time here. We 
When you're ready, carefully return to center. You might even take an opportunity to check in with self. If there's any other movements or poses that would feel good to you this, at this moment, go ahead and move into those postures. Yeah, maybe a hip opener like happy baby pose or reclining cobbler's pose. You know, whatever might feel good. Listen to your body, what it needs. And when you are complete with your movements or you feel at this moment complete with all of your movements, just make your way into Shavasana or any other restorative pose, something that is relaxing for you. That You can now disengage the muscles, the muscles of your body, certainly the ones that you are really highly activating in your practice today. No need to move just yet. Just check in with self. Notice your breathing. If your mind began to wander, no worries. Just take another deep breath in and out to help bring you back to this moment. Stay fully present. Once again, returning to the awareness of your breath. With this awareness, take five slow, deep breaths, as deep as you can, slow. With the inhale, feel the expansion in your lungs and your heart space. The complete release with the exhale, that softening, that releasing sensation. And through all this, also feeling energy, a new energy, move through your body. And also movement returning to your body. Once movement returns, take your time and carefully roll to one side of your body. Perhaps a little pause there in this nurturing pose. Awareness of breath, how you're feeling. And continue to move in slow motion as you guide your way up to seated. That nice lengthened spine, you might just feel with the inhale, the breath rising, once again, filling the lungs. And the exhale, not too forcefully, but drawing belly in for that nice core connection. Hands can remain in your lap, on your knees, or bring hands to heart center. And just take one more full and complete breath in and out. And as we come to the close of our practice together, we bow saying, Namaste.
Thank you so much for watching and participating in this yoga lesson. To help us with the channel so we can continue to bring you more content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. Namaste.